Hello and welcome to my backgammon channel. In today's short lesson, I want to talk about the five main game plans in backgammon. So here we go. The first game plan is the race. Now, let's say you start with a 6-5 and you make the lover's leap and then black responds with a 3-1 and makes a five point. Now, already, I am ahead by seven pips because I got 11, black got four. So now if I were to roll a six, four as white, I want to play the racing game plan and just bring that out. So I'm sticking to the racing game plan because I'm ahead in the race. So six, four, it's not correct to make this point, the two point, but it's instead correct after a 6-5 to play the 6-4 out. Okay, game plan number two is the blitz. Let's say black wins the opening roll of a 4-5 and splits the back checkers and brings one down. And then white rolls a double three and makes the blitz. Putting white on the bar and making three inner board points. And then black enters with a, another four and let's say a four two or something. So he plays one down. Now as white, if I were to roll a six three, because I have a stronger home board, I want to blitz black. Keep hitting and hope black dances and doesn't re-enter. So nine rolls uh, will not let black re-enter. If black misses, then twos or fours will cover, and I can keep bringing more checkers down to close my board and blitz black off to win more gammons. So the third game plan is the prime. Priming. Now priming is when we create a block to trap our opponent so if we look at the starting position again so white rolls a three one to begin and let's say black rolls a five one now if white were to roll a four two white could make the four point with a four two and we now have a three point prime then let's say white were to roll a six one a four point prime and what we are doing is we are trying to create a six point prime. So black is completely trapped. And then black would have to play sixes and fives from the bid and it would greatly decrease the flexibility. Even with a three or four point prime made, we can just see how some of black's numbers would play very awkwardly. So that's a third game plan. The fourth game plan is called a holding game, which has many different varieties. So let's say white is ahead in the race. And white just needs to clear some checkers from the midpoint. So let me... Okay. Okay, so here in this position, we can see that white is ahead in the race, but black has a holding game. So black is holding onto this anchor, the 20 point, the golden point, hoping that white is going to leave some shots. Um, so white is going to have to move from the mid at some point, and then may later expose a shot which black can hit and then turn the game around. And there's different variations of the holding game. So we have a 20 point holding game, the 21 point holding game, the bar point holding game, which is often seen and you are hoping, let's say we have a situation like this.
Now black is waiting, hoping that white will roll any six besides double six, that's 10 rolls, and will have to expose a shot with six two or six one. And then that gives black an opportunity. So holding a point and hoping to roll doubles or for your opponent to roll awkwardly. So that's a holding game. And the final game plan is the back game. So if you find yourself in a situation where you are really far down in the race, let's say something like this, it's better to stay back and hope for a late shot. Now, in a back game, you want to be the value of pips behind. So here, you want to be about 100 pips down in the race, um, so you have timing. And often in these situations, it is correct to be hit to improve your timing. So if, for example, uh, white was here, and black was there, black may choose to leave a vulnerable shot here. So white hits and then black goes back and it improves black's timing. And we have different types of holding game. So here we have the 24 minute 23 point holding game. We can have the, the 24 and 22 point holding game and some lead to more gammons, some lead to later shots. If you have these points that are further back, you are going to get more shots when white bears off awkwardly. Um, if you have a whole if you have a back game with let's say these two points, a 20 point and a 21 point, I will lose um, fewer gammons because I can escape easier but also it will generate um, less shots because um, white can just jump over me. Um, so there we have it. Those are the five main game plans. The race, the blitz, the priming game plan, the holding game and the back game. And I hope that's given you an insight into five different game plans. And usually from your few opening roles, you move into a game plan. So six, five, a racing game plan, double three, double five, a blitzing game plan, um, three, one, four, two, a priming game plan. And then if you are behind, you can think about a holding game or in the worst instance, a back game, which are notoriously difficult to play, but sometimes you have to play them to try to get a late shot and turn the game around. Thank you very much. New videos every Wednesday. Please subscribe. All the best.